Well hey there, thank you for visiting my channel. Today I will be showing you my Notion setup. I want to let you know ahead of time there will probably be multiple occasions that I show you my setup because it changes frequently. So here's the main space. It has this eye which monitors me at all times. Now scrolling down, I have these three columns divided by category. The first category is areas. I define areas as any sections of my life that need to be worked on or maintained. Next is admin. Admin is essentially my way of planning and organizing my life. I like to think of admin as the better version of myself trying to get my actual self into shape. Lastly is life. This is meant for those other pages that don't really fit into any categories. Then we have this cool divider that I made in Canva, followed by a list of my dreams and aspirations. So now we're in my planner. So at the top, I have my habits and routines page along with my to-do list. Everything else on my planner page lives inside of these toggles. So at the very top, I have my big life goals and things I'd like to do. I take that and convert those into my horizon goals, which are the things I'd like to accomplish within the next one to three years. Each of these goals is divided by area of life, so for example, school, work, travel. Each area is color-coded across Notion, Google Calendar, and Todoist. In this toggle, I have my quarterly goals. Side note, you may notice this nifty progress bar. I did a tutorial on that and I will leave the link below. Here is where I'm able to take the goals and actually break them down into routines and scheduling everything out. So I take the corresponding task and to do it and embed it into each quarterly goal. To, to do, do it allows you to sync your projects with Google Calendar. So for example, if I want to list 60 items on my Depop shop by September, I need to actually plan out when I'll source items, photograph, and list each item in the steps in order to do all of that. I've been realizing the importance of habits and routines. Think of them as a sort of infrastructure of life, so you have to keep your systems smooth and reliable. The importance of a habit or routine is that it allows you to set yourself up for success on a basic level. I keep the actual list of routines just to keep everything in order. And I also have the link to the task in Todoist, which allows me to set it up on a recurring schedule. As you can see, I have more headers for each column. Tasks are written down the center. On the left side, I have my routines and template button. Basically, if I click this button, it will dispense that routine as a toggled checklist. Then you can just drag and drop it onto your main checklist. On the right side, I have a place for different websites and references that I use a lot. So that is the end of the video. If there are specific requests or pages or things you want me to build, let me know. Subscribe. I will probably create this template. I'll leave it down in the description if you'd like it. Make sure you check out my blog at theplanningpanda.com and I'll see you later.